Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel Science to Technology. In today's show, Science Thursday, we're going to talk about Indian electrical plugs. So let's dive right into it. Now, before we understand the plug, we have to understand the power that they manage to deliver. Now, India runs on 220 volts, 50 hertz. Now, that hertz is very important uh, because while you can step down or up, uh, you know, power uh, very easily without any issue with just a basic transformer, I'm talking like wall adapter like equipment but if you try to run uh, basically a 50 hertz equipment on 60 hertz one specifically transformer it's gonna end badly now be mindful transfer uh, hertz is directly a representation of the size of the transformer meaning if you have like let's say a 10 kilowatt transformer and it's this big if you go from 50 hertz to 60 hertz the transformer will shrink how small it can go well generally airlines use 400 hertz because that will allow them to make all the pumps all the fans or, or basically electrical equipments much smaller so that's why 50 hertz and 60 hertz. Now, why would you want, uh, you know, uh, slow hertz rather than faster so you can make things small? They travel further and they have less skin effect. So that's why generally we prefer 50 hertz for home distribution. Now, India has three phase system, uh, 120 degree apart. Now, be mindful, this is universal. Almost all power generators, no matter the voltage, generally work on this three phase, 120 degree apart. However, for home delivery system, you may have different outcomes because in some scenarios, let's say you are in Canada, you may find you're getting two phases out of three basically if they're like hey you need to 20 volts uh, uh, and again the distribution voltage is 110 they will be like i will only send two phases to your house rather than saying all three okay that's one way of doing it but in usa you may have a scenario one phase is coming into the transformer transformer is creating the two phases in those sort of scenarios that 120 degree will become mirror as in 180 degree so it will literally look like a phase like this so 120 degree apart is uh, not guaranteed everywhere, specifically with two phases. Generally three, that's the only way. But in two phases, you can have 120 or 180. Now, Indian homes are designed to run on either one phase or three phases. And three phases are generally done for distribution reasons. As in like, uh, so if you have, let's say, multi-story buildings like I do, uh, in those sort of scenarios where it's like, you know, floor one would be phase one, floor two would be phase two, because itself, we rarely may have equipment that is actually utilizing three phases. And uh, three phase voltage rating wise is generally 440 volts, because be mindful, these are sinusoidal waves. So one is always going down. And that's how our ratings are done, 440 volts. So what plugs do we utilize? Now be mindful, plugs are a whole can of worm that you do not want to understand because like uh, this plug is used in Europe, this plug is used in somewhere else, this plug is maybe used in South Africa. You get that point, like plugs are messy as hell. So what do we use in India? Well, we generally have three core types of plug. Uh, so we have first plug that is type C plug. Yes, I know the name. And these plugs are two pin plugs and they're supposed to be only for lightweight equipment around two amp system. Now, Indian government is like fighting a war against this, slowly trying to remove it. Now, what they're doing is very clever. What they, how they are removing is not removing the plug, they're removing the sockets for it. And you will notice that uh, all Indian mobile chargers that are like, you know, packaged, they don't have this sort of pin layout. Even though these are two pin, does not have everything. You think mobile chargers will use that. No. What mobile chargers are switching to is uh, they are switching to D pin. What does that mean? That simply means if you have, come on, is basically if D pin, so pin gap, basically live and neutral pin gap, live and neutral pin gap would be similar to D rather than C. So you cannot insert this puppy into the socket of this puppy and vice versa. So even though they may look uh, like two pin from this and this may look the same, they are not intercompatible. I said like, you know, it gets complicated. So that's type C and D taking care of, and type D is the main plug that's used for almost everything unless you are talking about something ludicrously powerful like air conditioner, uh, refrigerator, even refrigerator rarely goes that much but you get that point like because the power rating is around 6 amps that means around 1.3 kilowatt safely meaning 1 kilowatt if you are dump, uh, drawing 1 kilowatt of power utilizing this tiny plug you don't have to worry about it you don't think too much about it and that's the main plug basically every equipment you buy generally will have that plug. And then we come to type M, the big boy plugs. Now, big boy plug is something like this. And this is not that much bigger, but the contacts are much thicker, much bigger, much more beefy. Uh, and they are generally rated for 16 amps, basically 10 amps more compared to the small boy. Now, this puppy can supply upwards of 3.5 kilowatts. So generally, if you buy heavy equipment, air conditioners, uh, refrigerators, big heaters for winters, they will generally use this puppy. And somehow, some idiot literally started to give this away with, uh, you know, my Dell, uh, Dell monitor, I'm saying basically BenQ monitor. I, I think they ran out of the small. It's like, dude, the monitor barely consumes 30 watts. So why the heck you're giving this? So I'm pretty sure like they ran out of uh, like the small ones. They just started to pack the big ones. That's stupid. But again, thankfully, I had spare cables. So this is 3.51. Like this is only found in big boys. And they are meant for heavy power draws continuously. So these are the three main plug types, C, D, and M. And uh, 
basically D and M is the main backbone of India. C is slowly being phased out. Then we have to understand the three phase aspect. Now you have to understand India is not inherently designed to three phase delivery system. And even USA is not designed for three phase system. They are designed for single phase and two phase. Three phase is industrial stuff, meaning you know what you are doing if you are touching three phase. Now, why they still have to deal with two phases because of the lower voltage. They have only 110 volts. So that's not enough, meaning the amp draw will become too stupid if you want to draw that much power. You can do that. It's just amp, amp means your copper, copper cost. Copper cost means thickness of the cable. Thickness means cost. You do not want it to be like super expensive to make a goddamn house so they're like you know what let's uh, have two phases so they have plugs that are in initially designed for single phase and double phase but there is no generally no normal plug that is intended for normal basic people use that has three phase inherently not and uh, but right now because of the you know draw on civilization we are increasing our power draw and power draw there are two big things that are consuming a lot of power in india that is water pumps and ev chargers and there are of course other things also meaning if you have a lift elevator basically elevator generally will draw a boatload of power so in those yeah it has to be three phase but again elevator is something that is installed by a technician technicians knows that stuff so it's like there is a world of three phase that is like not accessible to humans mere mortals not because there is nothing is there for it it's just not intended for it so there is no standard plug standard plug meaning a plug that is standardized by a niche uh, nation so looking at this blank spot and realizing the mess it could cause iec which is the international body they created an industrial plug standard which hilariously enough is standard across all of the planet they have with their own color code and it works everywhere like if wiring is done properly color code is followed properly you can just look at the plug you know it will work or it will not work it has like a rating for everything 110 volt it has a rating for it blue uh, it has blue plug it has yellow plug it has red plug it has green plug like every plug has color type which has like frequency all that denoted so and it's universal now i think uh, every indian ho household specifically those households who are planning to have a garage and planning to go into ev should have this three phase system now this sort of three phase uh, distribution is used in railway uh, factories basically every places where you have big gg amounts of energy being consumed they will be used because these plugs are far more robust resilient designed with less human error possible and they are far more uh, moisture tight so uh, they have like a rudimentary water spray endurance so to say and they are far more long lasting even in outdoor environment so they are basically the big boy plugs now three phase plugs again inherently uh, even if indian household gets a three phase uh, basically pump is generally hardwired so uh, disconnecting it or doing something like to it is very tedious we have to cut the power to whole house so that whole three things get this we not used to plugs now there is another aspect the plugs are expensive again these are industrial grade equipment so they are expensive but again worthwhile specifically for ev chargers because even you talk about le uh, level 2 ev chargings it's inherently means it's a multi-phase system and it just has a contactor and uh, generally uh, companies can charge a boatload of money for that uh, level 2 charger simply because you don't know that it simply requires this sort of plug and because you, if you don't have the plug the person who is installing that that installer will simply say sir we have to do multi-phase wiring because blah 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 and jingala and we have to charge so much money to you and if you just have the plug he has the first benefit because say dude just give me the equipment i can do the wiring myself and you can place it wherever you want and if you change it let's say you bought a scooty you're not happy with it you change to another and it has its own uh, you know system it's like bro i have it don't worry too much about it so that's why it should become something that at least one plug specifically if you have three phase wiring should become something again if i ever get three phase uh, water pump uh, i may actually have to do this so that's the three phase side of it not meant for mere mortals so what's the problem in india right now the biggest problem is we have ludicrously cheap and ludicrously uh, poorly designed uh, extension meanings these extensions that we use is the power strips or to say uh, they are bad why they are bad because they are what we classify as universal plugs universal plugs are something uh, that is ugly that simply means it's designed to take care of like almost half of the international market meaning it can take uk plug it can take some of the north american plugs it can take care of like way too many plugs i mean like i'm pretty sure half of those plugs should not be plugged in simply because they have run on different frequencies so it, it's one of those things now why companies are still doing it well because it's now more easier to do because if you're talking about switch mode power supply which is the basis of almost every charger laptop chargers mobile chargers uh, which is the most common thing that you travel around with uh, they can run on anything anywhere on this planet from 110 60 volts to 220 volt 50 hertz and 60 hertz so they do not worry about it. so those systems do work with this sort of plug but everything else that is heavy power draw computer upss and things of that nature nah bro that those are like nah bro you plug into this they don't like it so what does that mean that's simply because they are using universal plug the clamping pressure basically how much oomph there is that's very little it's like very little 
now consequence of that grip strength being low it has low amp draw capacity and you may be like hey stretching it now it needs to really clamp it out because again it's not a mirrored surface where it's like everything is molecularly perfect and you touch it like this so it does need a bit of a strength to like you know grip properly and without that grip strength even though technically the socket should be able to draw six amps without any issue they they will literally melt if you try to and it has happened to almost any country where you have cheap sockets made there so they are very prone to uh, basically melting sparklings and things of that nature now again anytime you uh, offer people like hey you should build your own they will try to do that and they're like dude it's expensive it's like the reason why these are cheap because once you open it you'll be like dude they are literally selling you hot air if you're lucky so it's like literally made out of the thinnest metal they can put like barely it has barely anything so and you may be like uh, isn't that good enough for mobile chargers not really anymore simply because we have speed chargers that are going upwards of 120 watt chargers so yeah it's not worth it so that is a very serious problem in india because of this like universal design this like almost widespread of it we indians are getting like you know exposed to a lot of fire risk a lot of electrical hazard for no reason and again they are very messy i have one uh used in for the environment it's like plug is like it's not it's like it's dangerous again thankfully we don't have any children around so we don't have to worry too much about it but again if i had children that plug will be poofed out of existence so what's the solution solution is basically by standard extension meaning things that are inherently designed for one plug type it's like bro i only take care of indian plugs that's it i do not try to be take care of north america i don't try to take care of uk don't try to care of brazil now nah. one plug specifically designed for Indian market that's it and if you have time and if you have confidence in your skills you can just make it like for example this one Oof. you can make something like this now again they are not very expensive now they are very expensive to me simply because I spent gg amounts of money on the cable uh, for, I have no idea why I bought this much it's like it's coiled up and that's it's like full deployment use I, I, I have no idea why I bought this much but yeah it's one of those things that you can just do and uh, there are many companies that are selling this pre-built also and I'm pretty sure if you uh, go around in electrical shops you will find like many companies are just company I'm saying basically small shopkeepers they will build it in their spare time and sell it and you can ask them to uh, spec out the cable depending on requirement for example this is designed for low power equipments barely exceeding one kilowatt barely like uh, it should not even touch that but I also have a big boy now my big boy is this big boy now this big boy has thicker cables and 16 amp plug tops uh, it's designed for like you know uh, basically running angle grinders and uh, drill at the same time so that's the whole thing you can do it yourself and one of the most crucial as uh, crucial aspect of things is that you should read the goddamn cable you would be surprised how many things are written on the cable meaning if i'm looking at this i can literally find her it is uh, using uh, 14 slash 36 uh, swg gauge wires that's one of the old ratings it does not make too much sense and then you have uh, basically modern rating system if you look into the cable for example this cable yeah it flat out says three core wire and 1.5 square mm so you can figure out like how powerful this puppy is then if you are talking about something lightweight i'm reasonably sure this may be also 1.5 now this is one square meaning even a uh, lighter weight again only meant for one extension i have generally used for mobile charge now again this mobile charger is a strong mobile charger i can charge like 200 watts or 500 watts without continuously without any issue and my big boy my big boy that i built it's basically you're running on the same cable that is used to drive uh, submergible pumps so its rating is 2.5 square mm so that's the whole point just by reading everything you can figure out which cable do you need how much thickness you should spend and you can do the maths it's very easy just google it how many square mm for your amps draw and you can figure things out so and there are uh, because of the you know uh, electrical system the, you can easily buy multiple wires in packs meaning core wires like as in like three core wire is there there is four core wire and five core wire and like why the heck you need four core wire uh, if your motor the motor that you are submergible motor is designed for delta driving and it has only protective earth then it only needs four why would you waste five and if your uh, motor that is like you know submerged and requires y configuration meaning it does need a neutral it needs five core wire and again a five core wire is generally preferred for three phase pluggers so you can just build it buy it design it the way you need to and it's not worth saving money in this sort of equipment these sort of equipments are something that you rely on you don't think too much about it like when you are plugging a mobile charger that it should set your house on fire but it can do that if the plugs are garbage so it is one thing that even though you're spending money and once you open it up like especially any company you open it up it's like dude you're selling me hot air 
is just not worth the risk just flat out not worth the risk and these sort of thing and even in north america even in basically every place people are like just know this for a fact that it's much cheaper to build something quality that lasts much longer time versus buying something that is very barely cheap and breaks on like you know or one thing this thing and in with no repeatability is just e waste that is like you know out of the factory to go into the e waste pile it's just uh, you know taking a short turn in your house so that's the solution and i would urge you if you are serious about electronics look into this sort of thing you will be quite surprised and again be mindful i'm talking about house level electricity meaning it's very lethal you have to be confident in it if you're not confident that shall not touch it if you're confident try it you will be surprised and again i am doing i have many many of this so that's why i can talk like and trust me from experience i'm telling it's far far easier just to like just have a solid extension and don't worry about it so this was my presentation on basically uh Indian plug standards hopefully you have liked it learn from it in that case please click the like button share it amongst your friend that will help me a lot if you didn't like it didn't enjoy it i urge you to press dislike press it twice to show me extra disappointment please leave a comment because i do try to reply to all of them subscribe press the bell icon if you are free and as always thanks for watching